is here too. Isn't that a beautiful shot? Yeah. Oh, you got it. We're at uh, Crystal Collection Reindeer here in, uh, what is it, Lake, Lake, Crystal, Minnesota. Lake Crystal, Minnesota, and uh, with Daryl Simon and Bev, and uh, we've been able to extract the colostrum out of this reindeer cow, and uh, it, I'm going to have to go in and kind of rewrite the instructions for this little deal here, so... One of the biggest problems I see with the reindeer, if you're going to have to do it, it would really help to go ahead and clip or clip that hair because it will affect the, uh, and Bev's pumping it now to lock on, and and uh, it'll be drawing the colostrum. That'll be the end of it for this year. Yeah. Wait till next year. Is this year? <laughs> Folks, uh, again, thank you very much. And Daryl, what um, what do you think are the um, the pluses uh, of using the utterly easy milker on the reindeer? After you saw what we now we had, to, uh, admittedly we had to do a little work to get her to let the milk down and everything. But what is, what is your uptake on it? Well, I think uh, you know every year, even with us, we end up with uh, a problem, you know, and we want to make sure that that calf gets enough colostrum. And so I think it uh, works just great to, uh, because those cows, when they have their calf, they stay laying down and the calf nurses while the cow's laying down. Oh, really? Yeah. So that is another thing you might want to look at on how you know, this uh, it should work anyhow. See right. Uh, but maybe they let down milk easier when they're laying down than standing up, but they always lay down while that calf couple of days until that calf really wants to nurse you know, while it's standing up. Well, one of the other things, too, that we're I'm going to go in the middle of September, I'm going back to New York, and I'm meeting with uh, the gentleman that, um, that uh, makes the pumps with us and for us, and um, we're going to work on a, a pulsator for the hogs and the dogs because the way they're um, set up, you know, they um, they have to have a suckle reflex action to be able to nurse. They're, they're just like the women, you know, and the humans. So we're going to figure out something, and that might be that might be something that we could add on to here too. You know, so the main thing with the reindeer is you've got to bump them. Even we've tried to milk one out with our fingers or just using mm -hmm. a syringe. Uh, you those calves, they just just like they're slugging them in the udder. Well, you know, so hard, violent. exactly. Well, you know, when I started bumping her with that pump, as soon as we got it locked on this morning, yeah, that's when we started see it, and then it just started running once we got it locked on there. But it's very important to um, we do have a little problem. This pump is set up so finely tuned that if you get a lot of hair down in there, you're not going to get the vacuum lock. You're going to be sucking some hair. So anyway, thank you very much again. severe mastitis. And it's really, really thick. You can see it filling. This is the 8 ounce colostrum collection bottle. As long as the colostrum's running or the milk, quit pumping. Now to release it, I'm just going to push it back against the pump and it releases off the bag. We're going to go ahead and put another sized uh, a bottle that we have on there and then we'll end up with the third one. Too, vid too witty to shoot video today, but just wanted to get a little bit here on the video. This is his first time being tied up. We've been using the buck along on him right along, and we loaded in the trailer, 
We're going to get some more shots tomorrow. As you can see, he's done pulling back. Mama's tied right over here. Believe me, this is the easiest way to do it. Any questions? 